hello friends and welcome back to the channel in this video we're going to be looking at one of the features in bricks builder that has not received a lot of attention since its release in bricks 1.5.1 and that is the mobile first design feature in bricks builder today we're going to take it out for a spin to see if it is a practical thing or if it is just a gimmick so let's jump right into it so what i want to do is to build this layout in bricks using the bricks mobile first approach so what is mobile first approach well mobile first approach is a term in web design that refers to uh, the approach of starting the designing of your page for mobile device first what we usually do is to start designing a website for the desktop for the larger screen first and then we go down from there to make modification but in mobile first the starting point is the mobile design and then we walk away up to the desktop and I think that makes sense in a way when you consider that about 80% of visitors to your website are on mobile, if I'm not wrong. And, um, and instead of spending the time trying to get what you did on the desktop to work on the mobile, why not start on the mobile first and then just walk your way up to desktop. So today we're going to try that out. In Bricks by default, we do not have the build a setup or the breakpoint setup for a mobile first. So we have to change that. And how do you change your breakpoint? So a mobile first approach so you're going to go to the breakpoint and then you're going to go to the mobile device and then you're going to click edit and then set that mobile device as the base breakpoint so once you do that and update you're going to see that everything switches so you now have the mobile portrait as the base breakpoint first and then you walk your way up so what this means is if you drop uh let's say a section there and then you color that section let's say uh, let's say purple when you go all the way up you see it's going to be purple now let's say you want to change the background color of this section at the desktop now when i change it to let's say uh, this color now if you go back you see it does not cascade down to the mobile because it's a mobile first approach so what you do to the mobile cascades you know gets inherited by the other breakpoints but what you do at the desktop doesn't get carried down to the mobile breakpoint so this is what is referred to as the mobile first design approach so in this design i'm going to take a look at this uh this shouldn't even be here i mean this is just the phone top now so the design start with the header and the menu so what i'm going to do is to first of all create the header so i'm going to do this the proper way i'm just going to go in and create a header so i'm going to go to template add template and then the template is going to be mobile first header and then the template type is going to be header and i'm going to create the template and then i'm going to go ahead so i'm going to edit it to start building the header i'm going to add a section there that is uh, automatically i think bricks is going to change that to a header so um uh, what i want to do is to first of all go to the uh theme uh, uh the template settings now under header and the conditions i want it to apply to now individual page i want it to apply to only the mobile first of uh, so yep just to this page we're building that is what, what i want this header to apply to i think i have some styles here for my section i'm not quite sure where that's coming from i'm just going to go to uh, theme style for my section i probably set a default okay i think this is coming from automatic css yeah of course i had to use uh, a css for this build because i need just i need to make it quick and i need that responsive unit uh, but in my header according to this design uh we now i don't i don't quite understand why this should be here so i'm going to take that off okay so let's go back in there i'm going to drop uh, a logo here so let me just bricks has a logo element so i'm just going to drop that there and then i'm going to drop a menu so nav uh, there okay and the layout for this i'm just going to go here and go to here and set the flex direction to horizontal and I want to uh, center it okay cross axis alignment center it this is going to be space between so i want to keep that here and here and for this of course it's not really aligning properly i think this just has to do with um how bricks handles this hamburger so we're not going to bother about that uh, for this uh logo i'm going to select the logo and insert it so i have my logo and my header is rather too tall because of this so i will just go in okay so I'm, I'm styling this header on the id level uh, because the header is just a single element that is going to appear on all the pages ideally except 
you have a header that you, you're going to have multiple headers on your page then you can start giving them classes but because i do not have multiple headers you know on this build it is okay to style them on the id so i'm going to go here and i want to reduce this so uh we have the section padding uh, i'm going to take it to a little section padding i think uh, i think acss has section pad uh, section space yeah so i'm going to take it to section space m very small okay i still don't think that is small enough so i'm just going to say uh space space small make it much smaller yeah maybe something like that and i'm just going to copy that and put here now that suggestion you're seeing there is coming from advanced thema and you may have been distracted by these buttons here these are coming from advanced thema i did a video on advanced thema a couple of days back so if you want to check it out just check it it i think it's popping up right here at the top right corner right now uh, so check out that video it's a new add-on for bricks you want to see what it looks like on the upper breakpoint so i have these okay and i have this this now i think for this breakpoint i will like the menu to still be hamburger so i'm going to select that menu anyway let me just first of all select my menu okay i know it selected that by default and then uh mobile tablet portrait okay so it it changes it to hamburger at this uh, so i wanted i wanted to change hamburger at uh the mobile landscape screen size and then here i think this is fine but i'm not quite sure why the text is red so suppose i may have done something to the top level menu i'm going i'm going to go to typography and i will just change it to that so that goes all the way up here so let's continue i'm going to save that and i believe that is what we have uh, on the upper breakpoint here where we have okay so here we have a sign up button but we don't have a sign up buttons there okay so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to uh so how are we going to do this i'm not going to uh, probably i'm going to add the search icon we don't have a design of this menu so i'm not going to build a mobile design of this menu but i'm going to go ahead and make uh you know provision for the sign up button and i want to put that button from here okay from here so i'm going to drop a button that i'm going to use for my sign up and that is it so i'm just gonna uh make that button you know the sign up button so i think generally i would give this button a class so i'm just gonna say mobile first btn okay and what i want to do there is to go to the background and i want it to be black and then typography I want it to be white and then the border radius yep what's that do i have my border radius there yep and that is going to be two rem uh do we have something yep two rem is too much so i'm just gonna use one rem and then i'm gonna apply to all of them so i have my button and i'm gonna change that to sign up okay that's cool i don't think i should waste time to build everything okay now we want this button not to show up from here oh unfortunately oh so 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 yeah i mean it's kind of cool that this is happening because you now begin to see the challenges um because you're building from here and then you want to there are things that appear here that don't appear here so and then you go here and then start adding what appears there and then you start moving back and uh for some reason at the mobile breakpoint this doesn't up yeah i mean it shouldn't right but so that means i added that button from here so it cascaded down to here so that means that my style started from here now so this is the first time we're doing this this is the first time i'm building this i i i, I don't know if i mentioned that in the beginning because we're just trying it out for the first time right and now this is one of the challenges that you know i obviously i've just faced and forgetting that whatever i want to do has to be on the mobile first all right so what i want to do is uh, from this point that i did this i'm going to just clear the styles here here and here now i've added this i want to go all the way here but we don't need this to show here and then i'm going to add the background there typography there and then i'm going to add the border Yep, one rim. Apply all. Yep, there. 
Okay, so now we have that button show up everywhere the way it should, and but then we don't want that button here. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hide that button at this breakpoint. So uh, what I want to do is to go to layout, uh, display, yep. So I'm just gonna go to display none from there. Okay, right, and from here we're gonna show it. Right now, I think I'm just gonna do inline, yep. Okay, so we have that from here, which is good. And um, I mean, this is a new territory. This is a really, uh, you know, uncharted territory for me. And so it's kind of confusing, but I'm, I'm, getting the, I'm getting the hang of it. Okay. How do you now change? Now, you, you look, when you come up to this point, you find out that you probably want to change the, the font size here, right? Uh, you want to change your font size here, which is why using responsive typography is very important. Uh, with responsive typography, you really don't have to worry about stuff like this because if you set up your website to use responsive typography, it this automatically takes care of itself. So, um, so I'm really not going to bother about that. So, if I want to do anything about that, so I'm going to go uh, to the top level and the typography. Then the font size, I probably just use um, you know responsive value from ACSS. So I'm just going to type text, and then uh, it's going to show me text M. All right. So yeah, we have this there. So you can see that it's responsive. Here it's smaller, here it's just a little bit bigger. And that's it. Okay, so we have a button. And uh, like I said, I don't want this video to stretch too long. I'm gonna save it and then I'm gonna go over to the uh, to the footer. I'm going to add a template and then I'm gonna create a model first footer. All right, so that should be mobile. And template type is going to be footer, create template, mobile first footer, edit. And the first thing I want to do uh, is just go in and set that template condition. So I'm going to go here, template settings, conditions. I want it to be individual and I want it to be mobile first page. Okay, I'm going to save that and I'm going to click here to add that. And uh, so what do we have here? So the first thing we have is an image and then we have a... Uh, uh, we have you know normally you want you just don't want to look at the mobile and start building you want to see how it looks at the desktop so you have an idea of how you're going to build it in mobile so how does it translate from here to here how is it going to work so we have this here but we have this all the way here so i would like to think that what we have we have this in a box okay we have this in its own div and this is in, in its own div so that's the only way you can bring this all the way up while this uh, comes down so that's what we're going to do so i'm going to add two uh, columns there and the first one will be where my image is going to be so i'm going to add my image and then i'm going to select that image this i'm going to insert uh that image is inside a sort of a background wavy stuff bluish i'm gonna style that to be um blue okay i don't i probably don't have blue here okay so i'm just gonna choose an arbitrary color like bluish there and then i'm not gonna do all the fancy stuff at the background to save time the idea here is just the layout how it's gonna translate from mobile to desktop so i'm not gonna waste time with uh, excessive stylings of stuff then the second one we're gonna have a logo uh, so I'm going to add the logo and then I'm going to add um, the menu. And what else is there? Uh, I'm going to add the menu and then we have the uh, follow us text. Okay. And then we're going to have the social icon. So and the copyright. All right. So I'm just going to add the follow us uh, normal text, uh, basic text. That's going to be for the follow up and then for the social icon. Uh, we are just gonna add icons okay so I'm just gonna add an icon so first of all you can see that the menu shouldn't be the hamburger in these footers so I'm gonna go here and I want this to never hide that menu it's not supposed to hide right okay so I'm um, saying never if I say la do this okay okay it's showing up there but why always is that what I'm supposed to say Okay, hide at breakpoint. Hide. Always hide. Honestly, I don't know how this works. I thought that when you say never hide, okay, never hide it, 
then it's not going to hide it. But you say always hide it. I think something is reversed here. Could it be the mobile first that is causing the issue? I mean, because I just think if you say hide it, okay, I mean, never is supposed to show like this. Anyway, let's continue. Uh, that and uh, so we want to take away that padding, the top level padding. I want to take it this zero zero. Uh, there was nothing here, so I'm just gonna leave that. Uh, let's see how that looks. Uh, this is uh, spaced out, and then so not quite sure what is giving this uh, font here. Maybe there's a setting on the you know the global setting that is causing this, but I'm just gonna ignore that. So I'm just gonna do that here. So the typography is gonna be that color. Okay, and then we're going to space it all out, the top level menu. Uh, how do we space it all out? Um, what you want to do when you're spacing this out is to increase the padding. So, space M, top. Uh, that doesn't look good. So, just use S, and then we're going to use S here. Uh, not, not good. All right, XS. Okay, that spaces out nicely. And here, we should have the logo, which is this. Uh, follow us. This is going to be follow us. And then that was uh, going to be, it's going to be fonts. It's going to be bold. Okay. So I'm going to pick that font weight to 600. And then maybe just, um, so we we'll go here, the icon, we're going to choose uh, Facebook and then add a class to that icon. Okay. Mobile first icon, uh, social icon and then i'm just going to duplicate that three times or two times duplicate it and then we change this to maybe instagram and we're going to change this to uh, maybe uh, twitter okay uh, this should we should have something that fills in like instagram nothing fills in okay no problem so now now this means we're going to wrap all this in um we're gonna wrap it in a div and we move all this here okay and uh that is gonna just stack so i'm gonna just turn this to flex and stack it horizontally and gonna give it a gap uh let's just say to rem and to rem uh for some reason you know i'm, I'm not getting my gaps okay not quite sure but let's go all the way here no gaps either so let's go to the icon and continue i want this to be 32 uh nope i'm trying to do that on the class so that's going to be 32 pixels and this okay now i have my gap suddenly not quite sure and these this 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 uh this is going to have content gap row gap perhaps let me just use two rem and two rem Okay, all right, so we may end up grouping these things in a way, but um, so these days, this should have gap two. Just gonna give it two rem. Now, I probably should just use a variable for these gaps uh, to make it. Um, so I'm gonna use, um, you know, ACSS content gap, right? Container gap. Uh, yep, container gap for this. And I wanna use the same for this. So to gap between containers, okay? I, I don't know just that works for me okay let's save that and so this is what we have on there and we have that color of that section the whole of that uh, footer we have a background color of yellow so I don't have color set up you know those color set up so I'm just gonna use this and I'm gonna save that and then let's move down here so we have these uh, looking good <laughs> now from here we want to change it to to this okay so what we want is for this to be here and this to be here so let's do that uh, we want this to be uh okay so i'm going to come here and then i'm going to change the direction like that and i'm going to reverse it and i think we have that uh, let's see we have that and this is centralized okay so we have uh, the whole of this you know centralized line like that so yep and uh what happens yep something like that and then we have this from that point we want to make it like that and then we still that means we have to come in here and uh do something about the margins left and right or it could be the padding so what we use was xs 
So, but I'm gonna just have space. No suggestions, okay? Va, va space, space. That, and then we're gonna take that and put here. Okay, now for some reason, okay, this is wrapping. Uh, so this should have more room than this. That's what it's saying. Okay. So, but if we are here, what is going on here? Uh, because we, oh, bro. All right. <laughs> so what is happening here is that um, now here, because I switched this at this point, it should cascade down here. So why, why doesn't it? Okay. So I'm coming here and I switch this. Then from here, it doesn't switch. Um, here, here, here. So it, you switch the direction and then you come here, it doesn't. So something is wrong with that. So that's definitely a bug because it's, gonna, it's, it's supposed to cascade from the smaller breakpoint to the bigger one. Okay. But it's not doing that um, for some reasons. I'm going to go ahead and, you know, make this a bit, a bit smaller from this breakpoint, perhaps, uh, by giving it um, a flex basis of 40%. Uh, and then I'm going to give this a flex basis of 60%. Uh, yeah. Or let's say 55%. Okay. And then, of course, you could use grid if you really know how to use grid and do that. But why these switches here is what I don't understand. I still don't understand why it switches, you know, at this, you know, at this breakpoint. Because whatever I do here is supposed to cascade down. So why didn't it cascade down? Oh, so this is one of the challenges that we have. Definitely one of the challenges you, you probably would face while using this approach. I mean, to be fair, you know, it is listed as experimental feature okay so if we go to bricks custom bricks breakpoint experimental it's listed as experimental feature if you come here you can see that this is written here experimental but this was done in bricks 1.5.1 so we are already in bricks 1.7.3 or so and uh, i think by now it issues like this should have been sorted out um but it isn't now what I'm going to do is um, I'm gonna go back there. I'm gonna just give this uh, a class of footer uh, mobile first. Should have shortened this into MF footer container. Okay, and then I want to move the styles. Now you could move. This is a feature of uh, advanced Thema. You could move styles. Okay, from the parent ID. How do you do that? All right, so export style to the class. Okay, so I'm gonna export the style. And then I already have a class, which is MF and create an update. Okay, so that copies that style. Oh, it moves it from the ID. Yep. So what I wanted to check was if I made these changes on a class, if it's going to work. So obviously it still doesn't work. So, so I'm just going to switch it again here. Okay. So that is it. It took just quite a while to build that. And, uh, so because of how long it's going to take to do this, I'm just going to build a hero section. Now we're done with that. I'm going to go back to the pages and go to the mobile first page. Uh, did I make save changes? Yep. Save changes. Then go here and we have our header and footer, right? So the header is here, the footer is here. So what I want to do is to add a section that's going to be my hero section. And let's see what happens uh, to the hero. So we have a, a blue background gradient. I'm not going to go into gradient. I don't want to waste time. I'm just going to use blue background. So we have that. What, we, what, what would, do we want to have here is we want to have an image. I'm not going to do background image. I'm just going to do image. Uh, uh, two columns, okay? Two blocks there, two containers. And then I'm going to... I put all this in another container so so let's do that so here i have this i'm going to make two of them and then uh, the first one is going to be where my image is going to be and then this one will have the heading 
the heading and then it's gonna have the text right and the bottom okay let's do that uh, the text the bottom right so the first one have this image right here so let's just take this I guess that is it nope the splash all right okay and the whole of that section uh, has a background of something like that okay let's do that and now this heading uh, I'm just gonna say uh, feel the best you know whatever just copy it let's close this first do that and let's go over to the desktop and see how big this is okay text large so I want to give this a size of text large okay so my h1 um, I'm just gonna say mf mobile first h1 and my typography settings font size is gonna be uh, text L yeah text XL I want it to be text XL so I want it to be extra large okay so here it's just a bit bigger than you know just something like that all right do we have XXL? So I'm gonna taste that. Do we have? All right, I think I think I'm fine with XXL. Yeah, bigger. Okay. So here uh, we have this text, which I'm gonna copy, and then where button says all crisp. I'm just gonna put this here, and then the button we're gonna apply that button class, our mobile first button class. Oh boy, what a big 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 mistake that i made there because that button class was supposed to be the cta i was supposed to call that the cta so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to rename this class uh cta button and all right so i'm calling that cta button and then i'm gonna just add another class called um, mfbtn okay more all right so apologies for your inconsistency in the name i just don't want to start type out the long name so um, then I want to copy the style from here. I want to copy that style from here. And then I want to paste it here. But the difference is, I'm going to delete this. The difference is for here, I don't want that display none. Okay. So display none is not going to be there. We're just going to take it off completely. We're going to take it off from everywhere. That display property, but we want the same. And then what did it say? All crisp. So. Let's do that okay now I want to give this my content gap okay save that so this this looks like that okay and then you go here it looks like that and then you go here uh, you begin you want to begin to make changes okay so there I want to make now uh, I want to make changes now if I do it like this I would need to flip it like this which which wouldn't work okay so what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna use grid here to see if grid will work okay so uh, I want to do grid and then I want to just do um, repeat to on FR so we have that and then um, here uh, how do we flip the grid so what I want to do is to just select this one and I'm going to give it an order of one. So let's see order of one and that's going to reverse it. Okay. So here it's reverse. Probably should have used order. Um, yep. Just regular order. Now for this, from this breakpoint, I want this to centralize and yep. Okay. Uh, but is that the right way to do it? I think I should stretch it and then select this and then apply that centralized to that. And here everything looks perfect. So we have that here. We still want that. Okay. And then here, um, let's see, is that centralized? No, it's, uh, this is centralized, but this to the left. So, uh, so what we want is for this, uh, to be centralized so right from all the way here it should be centralized that's the image it should be centralized 
they should be centralized uh perhaps the image you know it's just yeah the space is yeah this thing is centralized okay because of this it feels like it is not but it is actually centralized and that good that good so we save that so we are done is that a question uh that okay so what about this so how are we gonna put this i mean that is not the that is not <laughs> the point of the <laughs> tutorial so we're not going to bother with that how we're going to place this by the text nope we are not going to bother with that all right so the whole point is to test the mobile first approach not to find out how to do some you know tricky stuff so all crisp that 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 okay that worked i think i would say that we have been able to uh check out this mobile first approach yeah because i really don't feel i really don't think there's any point you know in building uh the second section uh when it's just exactly the same principle because here uh this comes on top on mobile okay this is here and then this goes this way on mobile so um so yeah there's really really no points building it because i don't want this video to stretch you know but you get the overall idea so um for this one I guess what we would have done in the footer if i were to go back to edit that footer uh, what i did here was to select this and uh, at this point i changed it again was that what was that the footer that class yep so what i did was i changed this twice okay this and this so what i would have done would be to just change the order of this to one and it will come here so uh, so the reverse doesn't work for the mobile first approach it's not working but the order works so uh we're gonna use order to do that and uh, i'm gonna save this and i can refresh this safely and then that means that uh, this works so okay so i'm gonna take a look at the front and let's just see how it looks i'm gonna go responsive so on uh on this okay so we have that and uh we're gonna have the ipad mini we still have that on the ipad mini right uh, i mean personally i will not put this this like this okay i would want this to be side by side um but it just depends on what you want to do on um, the ipad air and then you have the surface pro uh still like that i would like this to be side by side uh, but then it's, it's up to you to change it if you don't want now from here and then you know but we we only had the mobile design and this so you just have to fill it in you know just what whatever you have to do to fill that in fill in the the gaps on on how you want it to look uh, for instance like i see it's not looking great there so what i would do is at this point i would start making that change those changes uh, that we made i will start making it, those changes from here and then I would um, set this to you know one, okay, from here, and and of course they should be like that, okay. So that's what I would do from there, and then from here we really don't need this anymore, and here we really don't need that, and uh, also here, uh, here we really don't need this here, okay, because we started here, and then yep. I think that looks better that looks better so if you go to the front end and refresh and then you go to that ipad a you can see that this actually looks better than you know than it was because this i mean there are a couple of ways you could do it you could just make this you know auto wrap so many ways but then we we get the gist of what we're trying to do here so that is the mobile first approach in bricks builder so what do you think about it do you think it is a practical thing do you think that if you're building a website using this mobile first approach that you're actually going to be faster or you're going to be slower so tell me because in my experience this is the first time i'm using it this is actually the first time i haven't used this before doing this video so uh that is why you've seen me fumbling but um you know but that is the idea you know to see how it how it feels to use it and um it's it was kind of confusing at first you know trying to go to the upper breakpoint to add stuff and i think that 
it would be in a, a lot of cases in complex sites when you have a couple you know a couple of layouts some complex layout on the desktop um it might be really challenging you really have to constantly imagine how that is going to play out on the desktop while you're building the mobile so let me know if you've used this feature to work on an actual site i don't know if i will feel comfortable enough to use this feature to work on an actual site but if you have done that let me know i don't know the downside i don't know the potential problems you might face i don't know how this you know is going to pan out when you're using um you know style sheets or custom codes well i guess it's just going to be easy max with a media query is max with media query and min with media query is the same so it should all work just fine give this a try and let me know what you think if you if you found any other bug or if it is if it is practical well for me i think it's practical i don't think this is a gimmick i think this is practical and i think this has a lot of potentials um if everything's iron out the kings are you know iron out everything should work you know it should be great to use all right thank you for watching if you found this useful if you found this interesting hit the like button and also go ahead to uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't share this video with others and until next time have a great day bye